Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up. Pete Gray and Rock God Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with Rock God Rick Maxa. Captain Art Taylor from The Searcher is here talking fishing, and we're having a great time giving away an amazing prize today. Wait, one lucky caller. You're not kidding, man. If you didn't catch the beginning of the show, how about that? One lucky caller at the end of the show is going to win the best pair of glasses on the water, and that's a pair of Maui Jims. And today we're giving away the Surf Rider. I know, Pete, that's your favorite frame style with that great bronze HCLN to tortoise frame. Great bronze lens. It's glass material. Their their glass is so light too. That's yep. the thing I like about Maui Gems is you know compared to some of the competition out there, their glass lenses weigh about the same as the polycarbonate yep. from some of the others. And the and the clarity is so far beyond polycarbonate. It's amazing. It, it's clarity and you know we're fishermen. Like we don't all walk around with a microfiber towel. And I'm sure if you talk to the Maui Gym people, they would probably tell you the same thing. But let's face it, when we're on the boat, you lick your finger, you wipe your lens, you clean it with your t-shirt. That's yep. how it goes. You know, we get saltwater spray all the time. And you need a pair of glass lenses because because polycarbonate is just not going to hold up to the scratching the way that you know we we all clean our glasses. Yeah, it does. yeah no doubt about it. So one lucky listener uh, caller today is going to win. And you got it. If you want a shot at those great glasses, or better yet, your chance to talk to Captain Art eight five eight area code four five seven ten ninety again eight five eight four five seven ten ninety or eight seven 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 nine two ten ninety is open right now that is your opportunity to get through and as promised it's time for the catch report we're going to find out what's biting with our fishdope.com report and today that's sponsored in part by fisherman's processing in san diego fisherman's processing is san diego's finest and that's why they're known as the fish pros and once you try them you'll be hooked they'll fillet and vacuum pack your fish all to your spec as well as offer the best in smoked fish, jerky, and their famous tuna burger. Check Fisherman'sProcessing.com for more details, or you can see them when your trip returns to the San Diego landings. And we got the man, our private boater buddy, Captain Mark Wish, is standing by this morning. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, Pete and Art. Good morning. I'm telling you what, guys. Man, you get a stretch of nice weather and some biting <laughs> fish. We got no shortage of reports this week. Just the opposite. <laughs> a lot going oh, that's on out awesome. there. But um, starting with that yellowtail, man, there's been a big push of fish into all three of our local islands here. Santa Barbara Island just got loaded up there. A bunch of mid-range fish there, both sides, which isn't very far apart on that island. And uh, you get that good cod fishing as a bonus up there. San Clemente Island just loaded up this week, man. The first fish showed. Backside west out there in deep water, they hung out there for a few days, and uh, bird school fishing there, and then, and, and good grade, nice ones, and then it pushed in and kind of spread out around the island. Uh, the last couple of days, some of the best fishing was on the front side. One of our customers was over there. Oh my God, he sent me a little video. I couldn't believe what they did, but uh, really good fishing there. Twelve to fifteen pounders, mostly a few mixed into twenty-five, and uh, biting the surface iron, biting the bait. Man, they're just biting. And uh, Catalina Island, yellows and sea bass both there. Good fishing this week. Yellow scattered really all over the island there, all the stretcher spots there, mostly mid-range fish. Uh, a few big ones mixed in there. Sea bass fishing, I'd pay a little extra attention here, guys, man. There's been some good, good days on the tanker-grade fish over there, mostly backside east and backside west. Sock spots there, one of our good fish, uh, good customers there had fish up to 60 pounds in their limits of sea bass. And, uh, you know, there's no doubt those 50s and 60s are impressive fish, t- truly impressive. But, uh, man, along the coast, holy cow, fish a big mackerel on heavy gear, fish them kelp lines all the way from Palos Verdes down to La Jolla. They're giants around, guys, giants. And then offshore, first week of May, now we got a chance of a bonus yellowfin tuna mixed in with that great bluefin tuna fishing. There's been at least three above 50 miles. Within actually probably 40 miles of the point, three more down at 85 or 90 miles, I think it was. That's pretty interesting for May. And then uh, that bluefin, the last couple of days, they've really been biting good. I mean, they've been showing good for quite some time now. They decided to bite here the last couple of days. 
And uh, it's been great fishing. I had friends down there yesterday, uh, and fish had pushed up a little bit. It's kind of a little inside the upper hidden toward the end of the finger there. They were a little inside everybody else. There is wall to fish on both surf siren and bait. Just really good bird school type fishing, and it bodes so well. And mixed in with those are enough of them really big ones to just clean your clock once in a while to keep things on us. So, man, I'm telling you, we got an absolutely perfect setup, and it's the first week of May. Unbelievable. I would say, how, how about that for a May report, Mark? That's awesome. <laughs> that is a lot of August and September's. I'd love to have this report. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no yeah. kidding. And Danny I mean, from Fish Dope's been on it, right, Mark? He's on it, man. We 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 visit all the time and about this and that, and he's just so all fired up about all this stuff. It's it's just great. He does a fantastic job. Yeah, save twenty bucks on a new membership to Fish Dope. Oh, if you don't have it, you better get it right now because <laughs> it's going to be quite the season. Hook up now. Lowercase no spade is your twenty dollar code. And how do we find you, Mark? P. We're in Huntington Beach, corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. Phone number at the store seven one four. 840-4262, website PacificEdgeTackle.com. And it's definitely getting better and better. <laughs> this this had to be probably one of the best weeks of fishing in May of all time ever. Just the amount of fish, the grade of fish, the fact that we actually had some nice weather, which is going to change here for a couple of days, unfortunately. But, I mean, it was just one of them things that came together, and, man, it just made you feel good to be alive, man. Yeah. This is awesome. What's going on? I like no it. No doubt about it. And, you know, the other thing while we're talking about fish dope, too, is they have those chlorophyll uh, charts on there, and those are so important right now for that bluefin tuna. Right, Art? I mean, that's yeah. the kind of stuff you, you know, really you just look, look and yeah, the water they, conditions they lay out them catches, you key. know, and how... Yeah, it's really breaks The color breaks. It's crazy. Yeah, for sure. So, thanks, Mark Wish, Pacific Edge. Appreciate that, and uh, we will talk to you next Saturday. Okay, you got it, guys. We'll see All you. Right. All right, let's head on down to San Diego over to Sea Forth Sport Fishing and talk to our buddy Marcos. Marcos, man, you guys have been home with the Giants down there at Sea Forth. Yeah, I've definitely had some uh, good fishing in the mix there. The half day, very good bottom fishing still uh, throughout the week here. They've been getting out really regularly. And nice thing, they actually caught a couple of yellowtail again yesterday afternoon. They did earlier in the week also. So we're starting to see some some uh, other life there in the uh, La Jolla area. <clears throat> very good fishing on there. The three-quarter day, San Diego going out there. A little up and down there. Some days you're going to see, like on, a, was it Wednesday, 56 bluefin, 91 yellowtail to 31 anglers, nice 20 to 30 pound bluefin. And then like yesterday, the day before that, you're going to see maybe a dozen, you know, 100 pound plus bluefin in there. So a little bit of a crap shoe, whether you're going to trophy fish or nice bluefish, fish, bluefin fishing there, but all of it are very good there. So check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Our half days and three quarter days schedules are both up there. We have the trivia going out on those overnight trips and they had some very good fishing this week also. Has some big bluefin to go along with their count there. So check that out. All the strips are online there, seaforthlanding.com. You can make your half day reservations, three quarter day, those one days. So try and get those tri- twilights out Friday and Saturday. And I think it's going to take us going fishing, Rick. We're, we're going to have to do that when this weather cleans up and get the ball rolling. I told twilights. you. I told you, man. Yeah. I'm in. Don't threaten me with a good time and a boat yeah, well, cheeseburger and a cold beer and a twilight yeah. trip. That's <laughs> That sounds good, Marcos. I'm in. We're going to have to set it up here pretty soon there. So check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Maybe we'll put a little ad up there that we're going fishing and people can get <laughs> autographs. You know, get some fine pictures and headshots. Uh, give us a call at the office here, 619-224-3383. More than happy to help you guys get up. You can always come down and visit us in person. Either hop on the boat and get one of those boat cheeseburgers, or if you just want to stay on land, go to the landing there and get one of those Rock Cut Rick breakfast burritos. Sounds good to me, Marcos. Great times and certainly some crazy, crazy good. We keep saying it for May fishing to be going on the way that it is right now. C4 Sport Fishing is spot to be. Appreciate a great report as always, Marcos, and we'll talk to you next week. We'll talk to you then, guys. Thanks, All Marcos. Right. Jim Salazar from the Battle of the Bay is going on today with a quick report. What's up, Jim? Hey, guys, it launched great. We took off. We had about 40, 45 kayaks that took off for the shotgun launch. It started great, Pete. We ended up with 56 sign-ups. The guys are out there having a great time. The wind has backed off a little bit here at the basin. No rain right now. It's looking really good. Haven't had any fish to get registered. I think a couple of guys are holding off the pictures so somebody doesn't snag their spot. But uh, it's looking really good. I appreciate all your support to get this thing off the ground, Pete. It's looking good. Congratulations, 56 kayaks for the first of two Battle of the Bays. And uh sounds like a good one. We'll look forward to hearing the results. And uh the next one is when, Jim? June 10th in Santa Monica Bay at King Harbor. We haven't had a tournament up there for years. It should be a good one. We've already got 19 guys signed up. It's looking good.
All right. Congratulations job, on the Jim. success of today. Great job, and we'll look forward to the report. Thank you, guys. Have a good show. Thank right. you. Good luck. Sport Fishing Financials, Rick Jensen with our Northern Baja report. What's up, Rick? Hey, how you doing, Pete? We're calling you live from the water. I'm the Jen Ren. On Jen oh, Ren with nice. Captain Mark Rayer. Is Captain Jack there, too? Jack's right here. Say hello. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Jack. Jack. <laughs> hey, Jack. So what's going on down there? Well, we're, we're off doing what we do down there. That's fish. And uh, we got one uh, nice clipper yesterday. And uh, it's starting to turn on, I think. It's been a little tough, but uh, it's starting to go now. And uh, we got Art there. Are you? Is that Art, you, Art? is here, Mr. Nielsen. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we're going to see you. I think we want to have one of the first trips this year on the uh, searcher, don't we? That's correct. Yeah, we June twenty second. We're looking forward to it, Jack. And there's we're still a thing rock. There's, we're... there's still a few spots left on that trip. If you want to go, are you actually going on that? Is it going to be Jack is going to be there. Going. Jack on the searcher? Yes, sir. Jack we're, is going. Gary so. Gillingham's going. We're we're bringing one of our kids. Oh, Jose's going to be on, and uh, we're bringing all the stuff. We're going full tip boogie on this. So that's it's, cool. It's, Three day it's trip a, it's should be good. Yeah. Thanks for yeah. all the help, Jack. Oh, you're welcome. I'll, I'll hand you back to Rick here. Yeah, we got Mark also here with us. We're staying at Rancho Leonero and getting a real early free fish to our tournament coming up here in a few weeks and. Weather's been beautiful. Water temperatures are good, and everything's ship shape here on the boat. Oh, fantastic! Here's Mark. Hi to you guys. Hey, good morning, Pete. Hey, hey, hey Mark. I haven't seen you for years. What's that? I haven't seen Art for years and years. I used to, I fished with Art on the World Polaris, believe it or not. That's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time ago. <laughs> Decades ago. Yeah, 1975, 1976, yeah. You're yeah. dating us, yeah. Mark. That's 40 years ago, yeah. 40 years ago, wow. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to having you and Jack on the show next uh, Saturday right here in the studio. That is correct, man. We're going to come terrorize you guys. Yeah, well, great. Well, looking forward to that, and uh, we'll have you on the show next Saturday, and you guys have fun on Gen Ren today. I know it's... Uh, Beautiful day on the water in the East Cape, right? Yeah, sure. It's gorgeous out here. All hey, right. I want to mention, Pete, that I, I do have uh, one boat still open for the Rancho Leonel Tournament. If anybody wants to uh, come join the tournament and fish on a Gen Ren boat, we have one. Fantastic. All right. And how do we get on that boat? Um, call me at 310-308-5841. You can call or text, or you can send me an email through my website at teamgenren.com. All right. Our Rancho Leonero tournament is just a month away. Looking forward to that. And like I talked about, Rick Jensen's going to be picking me up in the uh, at the Loretto broadcast on uh, June the 3rd, and then we're headed for that tournament. So thanks, guys. Nice report from the East Cape, and we'll talk to you guys next week. All right. Hey, that's going to wrap up our catch for today. Again, sponsored by Gamakatsu Hooks, Japan's leading fish hook that sets the standard. Either you're using live bait or frozen, the most important thing to remember when rigging a squid is to use a Gamakatsu Octopus 4X hook. Nothing penetrates deeper or holds tighter. While it's very true that every captain has his own tricks for how to rig a squid, there's no question the hook to use is that Gamakatsu Octopus Hooks available at your favorite tackle store. All right, let's jump into the phones. You want to get through 858-457-1090 open right now. Ron and Sam Marcos, you're next up. Good morning, Ron. Hey, good morning. Uh, this is uh, for Art. And, good morning, uh, Ron. Art, I was at the Oceanside Senior Angler uh, meeting this past uh, Tuesday. Yes, when sir. Yeah, thanks speaker. for the opportunity to speak at your club meeting there. It was great. Yeah, you were wonderful. I, I got to I got to say that uh, you really inspired the the, the group and uh, uh, everything that you uh, just related to the uh, customers at uh, uh, on the air uh, was was just uh, expiring to the uh, to the uh, Oceanside Senior Angle Group. Really wanted to thank you for coming on and and uh, and giving us that uh, that great great uh, briefing and uh, thank you so much. Well, thank you. It was a pleasure to be there, and we'll look forward to doing it again 
in the near yeah, future. Yeah, and, and thanks to you, too. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. Thank you, Ron. All right, thanks a lot okay. for the call this morning. Harry in Mission Bay, you're next up. Good morning, our Harry. Good morning. Uh, Jim Salazar basically preempted what I was going to say. I wanted to thank you for your support of the CCA. I'm out in the middle of the bay right now. The wind's whipping up. I haven't seen any vent rods yet. Um, I'm switched. I, I just switched away from plastic. I'm now working with live bait and not getting any activity yet. But uh, Jimmy's having probably a lot more fun back there on shore having a beer or two. All right. All right. That's so cool, live Harry. on the water from your kayak uh, in the Battle of the Bays. It sounds like fun, Harry. Good luck. Lot Hope you get them. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. That does free up for the first time in quite a while. 877-792-1090 open right now. Derek in San Diego, you're next up on, on Let's Talk Hook Up. Good morning, Derek. What's going on, guys? How are we doing? What's up, Derek? Great. Good morning, Derek. Hey, just wanted to call, call in with a uh, testimonial for Captain Art and the Searcher. I, I'm the perennial uh, half three quarter day guy and listen to Let's Talk Hook Up and dream of what could be uh, on Saturday mornings. And uh, I got to meet Captain Art a couple of years back, and he talked me into giving a try on the uh, day-and-a-half trip last year. From the crew to the accommodation and the fishing, well, I mean, it was amazing. You guys heard about the food already, but um, uh, props to him and his crew and, and really got me uh, got me comfortable going out there on a little something that I wasn't comfortable with before. So if you're listening and uh, you're, you're on the edge, uh, the search is your boat. Go out there and give him a try. Thank you very awesome. much, Derek. Look so forward true, to seeing too. you again. Yeah, I mean, of course, you and the crew just make it so comfortable for first timers or veterans, and that's kind of your specialty, right? Either or. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, our customers. Um, you know, we we uh, we treat everybody with kid gloves and make sure that the uh, the experience that they have with us is uh, you know a notch above. And and uh, you know, we we tell our crew that we want to we want to treat every customer like it's a gold bar you know i mean we want you to come back we want you to have a great time while you're there and so customer service that's what it's all about when i mean all of the boats that, that run professionally out of san diego all do a great job but when somebody says to me when i when i get posed that question a lot working at the shop you know i, I really want to really want to take my son or my daughter on their first overnight or longer experience i i I mean, the searcher is the first one I always recommend him to. The boat is very comfortable, as you've been hearing all show long. And, and just like just like Derek said, I, I think that you guys do such a good job, especially with young with young people. Like, I, I think that it's just the best platform for introducing somebody to the next, just like Derek was saying, the next little bit longer trip. They've done halves and three quarters, and they're ready to do a day and a half or a three-day trip with, you know, son and daughter. I just think that you guys are the best operation for it. Well, thank you, Rick. That, uh, that means a lot coming from you. Thank you very much. Indeed, for sure. Derek, nice to hear from you. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Again, that does free up, 877-877-792-1090. You'll talk to Ted in there, and uh, Ted's doing double duty today. He's got the board as well as the phone, so uh, be patient and uh, and nice to Ted, and he's going to get you <laughs> up on, on the board there. Hey, have you signed up for our email list yet? If not, we have a little incentive for you, and a lot of people are taking advantage of this. Sign up now on the front page of our website, letstalkhookup.com. All new subscribers are going to be entered to win a Shimano Torium 20 HG oh, Reel. Dude. How about that? Nice. Huh? We're going to draw for that next Sunday. Sweet. How about that? Mother's Day gift for somebody uh, or for themselves <laughs> right there. Um, so do nothing other than sign up, yeah, and you might win a Torium 20. A Torium 20. And it's for new subscribers, um, and uh, and it's uh, uh, that's a really good deal. So, by the way, our email blast newsletters are great. You get all the current information on what's going on on Let's Talk Hookup. Uh, and, uh, you know, like this weekend, we sent out uh, great pictures of the searcher and Art Taylor. And tomorrow, Aunt Captain Andy Cates from the Red Rooster 3 and about what's going on on the, on, on the website and such like that, as well as some fantastic newsletters. We have one coming up from Whaler's Cove Lodge that's really so well written. You're going to want to see that. So it's really good information. We don't sell our list. It's just for 
uh, let's talk hookup. So don't be afraid to sign up, and we don't blast you with stuff every day. It's just a once-a-week deal that uh, Mr. Bill Varney is doing a great job with. So right on the front page, let's talk hookup.com. Sign up today and have a chance to win a Shimano Torium 20 HG reel that we're going to be giving away next Sunday. So you have one week left to sign up. Sweet. All right. Let's go ahead and jump back into the phones and talk to Brian in Wildemar. Good morning, Brian. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you doing today? Good, hey, Brian. Morning, Brian. Uh, morning. Um, considering these small two-speed reels and um, these big, giant bluefin, you know, I'm talking over 100 pounds, um, my reel holds 400 yards, 450 yards, but it's 65-pound spectra. It's 65-pound spectra adequate enough or do you need something that bumps up to 80 pound spectra i think the 65 pound is is adequate and uh you know obviously if you can go a little bit bigger i don't know exactly what the change in the capacity would be with 65 versus 80 i don't think it would be that much what do you think rick i'm with you probably 20 to 25 percent or so something somewhere in that area i mean yeah. you know you'll you'll if you're 450 you'll probably be in that you know, high 300 to low 400 yard range, depending that on what kind of it is. That should be enough. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, the the other option if you're if you're contemplating changing, like again, you know, like Pete was mentioning, is Power Pro came out with that line called Max Quattro this last year, and it is it is made with some you know very similar but smaller fibers, and so that 80 pound Max Quattro is the same diameter as 65, so if you wanted to split the difference, that would probably be a, a good way to go. If, if capacity was your concern, that's a really good line to use. I love that stuff. Cast well and uh, get more on there, and you, you're less likely to get spooled. There's a lot of good things about it, too. You can also, you know, if you have a reel that's kind of bordering on the right amount of size, you know, where to really get the capacity out of it, you need to fill it all the way to the top and fish a real short top shot, but... You know, short top shot's not always the right call. There's there's a lot to be said, especially in bigger fish fishing, having a longer top shot. It's easier to cast. It's a little easier to manage. You get a little more stretch. With a longer top shot, you can make more mistakes and not pay the price. And, you know, the, but the downside to a longer top shot is that's eating up, you know, your capacity room for Spectra. So now with that Max Quattro, you can still fish a small reel, still fish a long top shot, but also have enough backing to, you know, to, to, to get. You're going to get a lot more line on the reel when you're doing it that way. Indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. I want to remind you today and tomorrow the Sea Keeper demo boat will be in Marine Del Rey. Oh, cool. Uh, up in the L.A. area there. Uh, they're going to be at the Del Rey Landing on uh, Bora Bora Way in Marine Del Rey today and tomorrow, uh, all day long. You'll be able to ride for free the Seakeeper demo boat. Uh, so I, I just got a chance to talk to our good buddy Skeet Simmons, who just put a Sea Keeper yeah. 5 into his boat. And uh, I was talking to him yesterday about it. He said the biggest problem that he had, they were out pre-fishing for the Southwestern Bottom Fish Tournament, which is going on today. Oh, it is uh -huh. today. Yep, huh? it is today. And uh, he said the biggest problem that he had with the Sea Keeper is the guys were going into the salon and taking naps and all these things. He said when, when normally there's no way you'd go on the couch and fall asleep because the boat's rocking and rolling. With that thing turned on, just he said it just... Just like we've been saying, just like you experienced, just like I experienced, it's just you can't believe that you can flip a switch and your boat doesn't rock anymore, yeah. and that's exactly what it is. That's, and, and, and you can experience that in Marine Del Rey today. Go down and see Berkeley and the gang down there, and just if you're not even in the market for a Sea Keeper, just go take a ride and it's, check it out. It's so cool. It's a free deal, and you'll be, blo you'll be as they said, take a ride, be amazed. That's yeah. their deal. It's in Marine Del Rey on Bora Bora Way. Right there at Delray Landing today, the Seakeeper boat, and tomorrow. Hey, also next Saturday, the big spring shootout fishing tournament by the San Diego Marlin Club. Great event. Really good prizes. Over $5,000 in cash and prizes. Tuna, yellowtail, white sea bass, halibut. They're all here. Yeah. You're going to catch them all. So the Marlin Club uh, is, 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 uh, is a good time. So just get, check out themarlinclub.com or just go down there today or tomorrow and go sign up for that Saturday, May 13th, Spring Shootout Fishing Tournament. All right. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Cookup coming your way. More great phone calls, more great information. You're listening to Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. Let's Talk Cookup on the Mighty 1090. The Tuna Wars are coming, and you can be a part of the battle. This is Captain Dave Marciano from Hard Merchandise and Matt Geo's hit show, Wicked Tuna. This is your opportunity to fish with me, Captain Paul Herbert, or Captain Greg Meyer aboard three of San Diego's top boats. 
Now, Paul keeps spouting off about how he's going to win. But frankly, I'm more concerned about Greg. He is one heck of a fisherman and could certainly lead his team to victory. The two-day trip departs June 21st and returns on the 23rd for weigh-in. Whether you're fishing or not, plan on joining the captain's reception the evening of Tuesday the 20th at the beautiful Valley High Restaurant in San Diego Bay, where you can meet and greet all of us and talk to us with a bunch of great people and have a chance to win some amazing prizes. It's all about taking kids fishing and supporting the great Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea program. So join me, Captain Dave Marciano, for a fun evening at the Valley High and go fishing on one of the three top boats with us and catch some tuna. Check CaptainRollo's.org for more information. Spots are going fast. Sign up today. Sport fishing, not just for Dad anymore. At Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half-day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dana Wharf. Join the Dana Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the vast capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free. This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. For local and long-range fishing, the Islander out of Fisherman's Landing is a favorite among seasoned or novice anglers. But Islander Charters is much more than great fishing. They also do incredible Guadalupe white shark diving trips as well as a schedule of kayak mothership trips. You need to check out the Islander on their website, islander-charters.com. The Islander is San Diego's leader when it comes to two- to five-day fishing. Watch the website for trips and adventures available. Experience the Islander difference. Visit islander-charters.com for all the details. Don't you just love California in the summer? Just remember, if you love California and you love to boat, please wear your life jacket and make sure the people you love wear one too. Love California, boat California, save California. Share the love at boatcalifornia.com. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available or call 619-223-1627. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, phones are packing up. One line open. You want to get through 858-457-1090. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phones. Jim in Oceanside, you're on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning. Morning, guys. What's up, Jim? Uh, morning, Jim. I, I just bought a, a Talica t- uh, 10 two-speed. Nice. And I'd like to put it on a trigger stick. I was wondering if you could recommend something. Well, a Talica 10 would be a, a little bit of a large reel to put on a trigger stick, but, uh, you know, you would want to find something uh, in that heavy, you know, 7.5 to 8-foot range, M- maybe one of those, uh, the, the Therese 80H, the the one that they kind of designed for a wax wing is a kind of a cool trigger stick. There are some heavy Terramar 8-foot rods. A, a Terramar 80H would be a nice one with, with a trigger on it. Um I would say those those would be the first two that come to my mind that would be heavy enough to do it. Um, you know, why would you? Why do you, do you just like trigger sticks, Jim? Yeah, I just like the uh, the way it uh, feels to cast. You know, you always got a good good grip on it. Sure. You know, that's probably the route that I would go. Maybe look at that Therese 80H. Not too terribly you know, expensive. Yeah. It's going to be enough that you could you know fish 25 or 30 pound on it and catch a school size tuna for sure. Or, or the other route to go would be to go the custom route, you know, and, and get yourself one of those larger trigger reel seats and then just, you know, pick any type of blank, whether it was a Cal Star or something along those lines and, and custom wrap it with a trigger and then you could put it on, you know, darn near as heavy as a rod as you wanted. There you go. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Let's go ahead and jump back into the phones and let's talk to Joel calling us 
from Colita, is that, Joe? Are you a first-time caller? Yeah, first time caller. I'm calling from Galita, California. Oh, Galita. Okay, all right. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Right here, by, right, right above Santa Barbara. We love Galita. I love Galita. It's a great spot. Yeah. I just had a question. You know, I've never, ever gone fishing on these boats out of, like, you know, San Diego and all that stuff, and I was, like, really nervous about going because, like, I've never done it. So I was wondering, is there, like, deck cans that can kind of lead you through if you do hook up on something big? So you don't get yelled at by all the other guys and stuff. I just wonder if there's somebody can kind of like run you through this, like method, you know, of how to land them and catch them. It's a stuff. good question, man. Sure. Question. Well, what we tell people is that your the crew is your biggest asset out there. They want you to have a good time and catch a fish. So, what we would recommend is that when you get on the boat, you know, the first crew member that you come to introduce yourself and. Say, hey, I'm a first-timer. I've never done this before. Can you, you know, show me the ropes? And, you know, that that crew member is going to tell all the rest of the crew that uh, you're a first-timer. And so we're going we're gonna to spend extra time with you, make sure that your tackle's rigged correctly. And, um, you're, you know, I, I can just tell you that if you're coming on the searcher, you're not going to get yelled at by a bunch of, customers because you don't know what you're doing and, and, it, and that's, it, the that's just not the no. atmosphere that that uh that goes with coming on the searcher so uh, i would encourage you to look at our schedule and and uh you know a day and a half trip is a perfect introduction to long range fishing and and like i said it, it even if you don't come on the searcher if you go on the pacific queen or you go on the prowler what whatever boat that you go on there just make sure that you introduce yourself to the crew and say i'm a first timer can you help me out and they are more than willing and will go the extra mile to make sure that you have a good experience but i'm going to tell you yeah. uh in in my opinion i i think for a first timer to experience the searcher that's your boat that's the, the you guys do the right experience for a guy first time to come on and experience true long range fishing. Well, we like first timers and people that haven't done it that much because you you actually listen to us. Yeah. And you know you got the 25 year old veteran that's got it all figured out and and doesn't need as much assistance. Um, but you know people that that are are first times and uh, first timers and and may not have been on a day and a half like yourself, and just, you know, introduce yourself to the crew. The crew is your biggest asset. They know what worked on the last trip. They know what worked last year. They have all the inside information from, from previous trips, and and crews talk amongst themselves and pass on, you know, tips that, will help you out, and so I would encourage you to make sure that you talk to the crew. That's what we're there for. You made a mention about, you know, when you hook a big fish, walking you through it. The other thing, too, when, when you, you know, they're going to go over every ass. They'll, that's the beauty, too, of going on the searchers. They'll provide as much or as little assistance as you want from everything, casting and how to hook your baits and all those things. And then once you do become attached to the big fish you're talking about, There'll literally be a guy standing next to you the, the entire way. I mean, that's how it works with those, especially those big ones, assisting you getting under and over different guys' lines. And I mean, with, from as much or as little direction as you want, it might even be, you know, hey, slide your hand a little farther forward on the rod, it's going to help, or put put the rod in your waist right here, it's going to help. And I mean, there'll be a guy from start to finish with you when you do hook your big one. Indeed. Hey, Joel, you're right, listening yeah. to us uh, on uh, the yeah. app today. Uh, no, I'm listening to it on my little radio. I'm not working. I have a little. Right, I listen 1090. Just it comes in good, but it's kind of staticky because I'm kind of far away. Uh, yeah. so I got a little Galita. tiny radio. Just have it right here listening to the show. No doubt about it. Well, thanks. So I hope that answers your question. And you know, the other thing I might add is check out um, that July 4th trip, the Let's Talk hookup trip. Yeah, it's um, sponsored by Shimano. Sponsored by, and Shimano's going to bring a bunch of product to, yeah, free that's right, to, yeah. to use for Sweet. free on the boat. Yeah, a absolutely. Bunch of rods that's, and reels. That, that's a perfect trip to go on. Yeah, Plenty indeed. of room on that. Yep. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Appreciate that. Hey, mark your calendar for the first San Diego County Ford Dealers remote broadcast. That's Saturday, May 20th. Just, what's that, just two weeks from today? Yeah, Is that right? coming up, man. How about that, huh? And it's going to be at Encinitas Ford, corner of Encinitas Boulevard and El Camino Real in Encinitas. It's your first chance to qualify for the two, not one, 
Two big grand prizes this year. Prize one is a Hobie Mirage Drive kayak from Fast Lane Kayaks in Mission Bay, along with a trip to Cedros Kayak Fishing on Cedros Island. That's about a four or $5,000 prize right Dude, there. That is so cool. And the grand prize number two is a four-night fishing package for two at Palma de Cortez in Baja Z's Cape, including a round-trip ticket, San Diego to Los Cabos on Alaska Airlines, and a couple of days of fishing. How about that for so two cool. people? That's another multi-thousand dollar grand prize there. Sign up for Alaska Airlines award-winning mileage plan. It's certainly the best in the business. Alaska Air Banners on the front page of the Let's Talk Hookup website, letstalkhookup.com. Hey, you can also win a trip on the Blackjack, courtesy of Dana Landing and Mission Bay, Shimano Rods and Reels, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and, of course, Gary the Prize Bout Cowboy. He's going to be there. We have, oh, boy. We have a lot of great stuff just to give away just for showing up. Don't forget, whether you make the casting contest or you just do a random prize, everybody has a chance to win the two grand prizes from Palma State Cortez on Alaska Airlines and Fastlane uh, Kayaks in, in Mission Bay and uh, Cedros Kayak Fishing. Check the guest page at letstalkhookup.com for rules and details. And we'll see you on Saturday, two weeks from today, at Encinitas Ford, corner of Encinitas Boulevard and El Camino Real in Encinitas with Mr. Mark Wheeler from uh, Encinitas Ford. Always a good time there. Let's talk to Mike calling us from Mahabra. Good morning, Mike. Mike, good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Mike. You're on. Let's talk hookup. Good morning. Hello? Go ahead, Mike. Is this Mike? Good morning, Mike. Is this really Mike? Hello? <laughs> See ya. Go ahead, Mike. Lost Mike. One more chance. Send it. Hello. All right, Kevin yeah. in Carmel Valley, you're next up on Let's Talk Hookup. <laughs> What's up, morning. Kevin? Hey, how's it going? Hey, I just wanted to uh, see what Art's thoughts were about uh, a post El Nino season, what he thought we might be. Uh, sounds like it's getting off to a pretty good start, uh, but we're just curious what he thought, water temp wise, or whether we're going to have a, a near normal water temp year or that kind of thing. Well, I can tell you that uh, uh, it's definitely cooler water up and down the coast. Uh, uh, you know, there's water that is below 60 up to, you know, mid-60s up and down the coast. Uh, you know, we just spent the last two and a half months going up and down the Baja Peninsula, and it's definitely cooler water. We are not going to have 80-degree water at the <laughs> Rock Pile and Wahoo this year. I can just about... Be sure that uh, that's not going to happen. So I would, I would anticipate that we're going to have, uh, you know, bluefin tuna around for uh, a few months. And um, I don't know. I hate to use the word normal, but uh, it, it, there's not going to be a warm water event. I, I would think that uh, we're going to have cooler water for an extended period of time this year. And are and you happy for that? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think that uh, back to normal conditions. You know, the fact that we've had wind and swell and that sort of thing, and uh, lots of upwelling and lots of nutrients, and and uh, I think that all in all, uh, looking at the big picture, uh, it's very encouraging. Wow, I'm, I like that. I'm excited. Yeah. About that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you anticipate summer trips booking pretty quickly here once people get figured out that this is going to be a great Well, I, I certainly hope so. I think that, um, you know, we're we're seeing kind of a, you know, a steady, you know, a couple reservations a day, and people are are starting to realize that, uh, you know, it's, you better get it's, on. it's uh, fishing season. Yeah. That's... So it's time to make your reservation and uh, select a trip and get your time off, you know, with your, with your job, uh, submitted and and uh so yeah i wouldn't wait yeah the thing that, that about this year is it it's not early anymore you know i mean normally may would still be kind of early season time to you know think about it and wait to see what happens but fish are already being caught and things are already happening and you know all of a sudden your your normal early couple of months of leeway has kind of gone away this year so yeah i would get time's on it. flying yeah. I, I wouldn't wait if you're thinking about going on a however long a trip you're thinking about going on um I, I wouldn't wait too much longer because as the you know, as as the time goes on here this month there's gonna be more and more trips that are going out there and finding more and more fish in different locations and you know, before you know it, um 
you know, June's going to be here and and uh, the season's going to be in full swing. I think it's going to happen sooner than than it has in the past. Yeah, yeah. and and your website, searchforsportfishing.com, is great, yeah. great website. We both share the same uh, web. Guy, and that's Designer Chad, the best in the world. I mean, Designer Chad he does so a great awesome. job. He's yep. so fantastic. And and you can book right online. You can. you can see all the availability on what trips. You can design whatever you want. But mm-hmm. I, I got to encourage our listeners, don't wait, yeah. you know, because you're going to sit there and look, oh, well, there's 20 spots left. Well, tomorrow there could be zero spots left. Absolutely. And it's uh, it's one of those things, don't get left. At the dock when they're biting. Yeah. You know? I, I think, in my personal belief, I think one of the worst things that came to online booking is showing how many spots are left. Because it makes people complacent. Oh, there's 20 spots yeah, left. Yeah, I'll wait. Fine. And then, all of a sudden, they wait and it's full. And That's right. Like, Darn it, I missed that trip I wanted It's like, to go you on. know, if you go on southwest.com and the price is 200 bucks, and you go, well, I'll do it tomorrow. And you go on the website tomorrow, and it's 250 you yeah. know? I mean, I should, yeah. have, should have booked it yesterday. Right. That's oh, yeah. neat. I That's mean, neat. our prices aren't going to change, but, you know, yeah. availability changes. So how? what do you need? How much of the deposit do you need to put a spot, to, to put a reservation in on Well, that? we'd like to get 50%. Okay. And and then, uh, you know, the balance is due two, two weeks prior to departure. Okay. And... Um, but if uh, we also have the the um, capability of setting up a payment plan, if you want to put a couple hundred bucks a month towards your trip or something like that, then um, and you, you wouldn't know, do that online. You, you wouldn't just do call that online. Celia. You would call Celia and set that payment plan up, and and it, and it can be set up on your credit card to automatically come out of. Oh wow, uh, that's automatically cool. Automatically so charged to your to credit card, it. and um, so it's it's seamless. It's easy. That's easy. a great call. An easy game. Yeah. No doubt. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Hey, you know, you heard earlier uh, uh, Captain Dave Marciano. Yeah, Tuna Wars. Wars. Tuna Tuna Wars is coming, are coming, and uh, boy, oh, boy, you know, they've got uh, some great boats. We're going to have that uh, that captain's meeting the night before at the Bally High. Uh, so much good stuff going on with Captain Morales, uh Kids at Sea. We also have the, the great uh, Reel a Week thing that right. starts in June. So for all the Captain Morallo stuff and uh, all that money goes to Cake and Kids Fishing, uh, check captainrollos.org and uh, get on that trip. Get on that Tuna Wars trip with uh, your favorite captain from from uh, the, the Wicked Tuna Show or get a ticket on the, the Reel of Week. That's a great deal. Man, oh, no doubt. 25 bucks, you win like a $500 reel. And it goes for a long time, and yep. there's a limited number of tickets. Once they're gone, they're gone. Your odds always stay good for the Reel of Week thing. That was a really cool promotion. Check CaptainRollos.org for more information. Ed in Mira Mesa, you're next up. Good morning, Ed. Hi, guys. Um, my question is for Art. Um, on a three-day trip, uh, how much equipment do I need to bring? I, I know I probably bring too much. Is there a lot of room to store stuff? Well, you know, that's kind of an issue that we've been trying to deal with here is that everybody bring, brings too much stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> I get Why it not? that you want to have, you want to, you know, you just bought your new rod and reel and you want to bring it out, but you're bringing also the 10 other rods and reels that you have. But for a three-day trip, you know, you could get away with three outfits. You could have a, a 25 or 30 pound outfit. You could have a 40 or 50 pound outfit for casting your flat fall lure with a two speed reel and bring a 40 or 50 pound outfit for live bait fishing and you'd be covered. Um, you don't have to bring a trolling outfit because we have trolling outfits that uh, you're welcome to use. Um, so you could get away with three outfits and, and you can bring a small tackle box and there's plenty of room to store stuff, but we we trying to encourage people to to bring less. You don't have to bring every single rod and reel that you've bought for the last thirty years on a not four day trip. Yeah, not necessary. Yeah, hey, I hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot for the phone call this Thanks, morning. Guys. All right, Jeff and Santee, you're next up. Good morning, Jeff. Jeff and Santee. Hello? Hi, yeah. Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Hey, guys. Great, great show this morning. Really Thanks. appreciate it. Thanks. Hey, Thanks, Jeff. Uh, here, here in that uh, Laredo, uh, Pete, 
Do they still offer uh, trips down there, and can you fly down there? What kind of packages can you get for a Laredo trip? Well, uh, here's here's the cool thing. There are now uh, two different flights that you can fly nonstop to Laredo. Alaska Airlines flies uh, out of Los Angeles mm -hmm. to Laredo, and then Aero Calafia now flies out of Tijuana. Uh, where you can use the bridge, and I believe that's cool. a daily flight. And it's they fly those. Uh, the Air Claudia flies those regional jets out of Tijuana, and then uh, of course uh, uh, Alaska Airlines, I believe, flies a regular 737 in there. And Art, you're shaking your head. You, yeah, you, we've we we're a big um, fan we've of been Loretto, to right? Loretto a couple times. Sylvia and I have, and yeah. and taken advantage of that nonstop flight from Los Angeles. Yeah, yeah, and we'll have more information uh, on that. On Loretto, they have a big fishing tournament in July that we're going to be promoting while we're down there uh, for the uh, the Baja Sur uh, uh, government. And um, Loretto's like a friendly place. Oh, it's man. really a cool place. So cool. Yeah, man. it's, uh, it's like place. old Baja. It's yeah. uh, very tranquil, and it's, uh, you know, it, it's a good spot to visit. Yeah, and yeah. very affordable, too. Great spots to eat and hang out and relax and see, you know, see a lot of what, you know, places used to be like it's very it's yeah. very unchanged and yeah. i think w the sport fishing association of california is putting together an amazing trip giveaway for that oh for sweet that, uh, for that show so stay Stand tuned by for, yeah indeed thanks a lot for the call this morning hey, when we come back we're gonna find out what lucky guy's got himself a brand new pair of maui gym sunglasses more let's talk hookup coming your way on the mighty 1090 for East Cape Fishing, Jen Ren is known as the best. This is Mark Rayer. Great service, top quality equipment, including all accurate reels, Calstar rods, and Cibran electronics, has put my immaculately maintained twin engine cruisers in a class of their own. For memories of a lifetime, just bring your hat and sunglasses, and we'll provide a fishing experience that will exceed your expectations. Our calendar's filling fast, so don't miss out. For packages, two live webcams, a weekly fisher report, and more, check out TeamGenRen.com. We pick up at all East Cape Resorts. So let's go fishing. 38 years ago, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They sold catamarans because they wanted to do what they loved and sell what they loved to do. They wanted to share their passion with others, share the stoke. I'm Hayden Lane, and over the last three decades, my parents have shared that passion with thousands of people, my brother, sister, and I among them. We grew up right there at the shop in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay, sailing on the bay, fishing off the docks, and later off the Hobie Mirage kayaks. We grew up surrounded by the water. Our shop was filled with tools that Hobie and other brands have made to enjoy on the water. And I use them all. I mean all of them. Wouldn't you? So when you come into the shop, you're not going to hear a salesperson trying to convince you to buy something. You're going to hear us bragging about how much fun we have on these toys and telling you to do the same. We test every product out there, and we only sell the best because we want to use the best. So check out our website at FastLaneKayaking.com or get on down to the shop in Dana Landing and find your next adventure. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. No matter the fishing conditions, count on the Seaguar family of fluorocarbon leader material to help you catch more fish. Fluoro Premier has a smaller diameter with the highest break strength. Plus, it is super soft. When bites are tough, tie on Fluoro Premier. Blue Label is tough as nails with incredible abrasion resistance and impact strength. And new Pink Label is the choice for tough light conditions, giving you a little more visibility for better line control. Pick up a spool of Seaguar at your favorite tackle dealer or visit Seaguar.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, the winner of those brand new Maui Jim Surf Riders is going to Kevin in Carmel Valley. Kev, we said it before, you are going to be so stoked. There's not a better pair of glass out there than those Maui Jims. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, our Captain Art Taylor just ponied up a nice prize for next Saturday, a week from the day when we have Mark Rayer and Jack Nielsen from Gen Ren Sport Fishing. You're going to give away a day and a half trip on the searcher on the July 4th. Let's talk hook up Shimano trip. Absolutely. Our yeah, that's so to cool. One lucky caller next Saturday. Next Saturday, Very one generous. lucky caller is going to go on that day and a half trip. How about that? Fantastic. Well, if somebody wants to go on a trip on the searcher, or whether it be that trip or any of the trips that you have on your schedule, how do we do that? Well, you can go on. Uh, 
our website, searchersportfishing.com, and book directly online. Or you can call Celia or Jan in the office there at 619-226-2403, and uh, we're taking reservations. So Right now. And like Absolutely. I say, don't be left at the dock. Get on it. Get on it now because it's going to fill up. Yep. Yeah. Our things are, are, things very, are starting very, to happen. Yeah, so yeah. I, I wouldn't wait. Don't don't wait. Yeah, for sure. You know. Also, Ricky, uh, you mentioned something really cool. Calstar is uh, back to full production and. Uh, Lots of Calstar rods being available, right? Yeah, you know, there was a little shortage of material and some stuff that last year, and we've gotten a lot of people talking about Calstar. You know, what do you think's going on? And I just was so stoked. John has been in there and making deliveries, and I think we're as flush with Calstar as we've ever been. It's just great to see quality still the same, awesome as it's always been, and, and just everything. There's no more shortages. It's great. So Calstar is doing awesome. Son mm-hmm. is, is doing a great job kind of taking over for his dad. Kicking some serious butt, too, let me yeah. tell you. It's awesome. Good We're really them. stoked. All right. Congratulations to Calstar. They've been a partner of ours for since this since the beginning tw- almost 26 years now and so we're very proud to have them aboard still within the family like it always has been and john is just not only building rods and making deliveries but they're just doing they're keeping calstar the way that it's always been which is which is perfect yeah we love fantastic. it fantastic all right well keep it up john doing a great job and uh boy oh boy uh next week or uh, tomorrow actually yeah. we'll be back in the mighty 1090 studios with captain andy cates from the Red Rooster 3, Captain Andy will be here talking some big fish and some long range and all the good stuff that they're doing on the on Red Rooster. That's going to be a fantastic show. 7 and 9 a.m. want to thank Teddy on the board and the phones today yeah. for your time. And I thank you most of all for listening to Let's Talk Hookup. We'll see you tomorrow morning right back here on the Mighty 1090.